Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today I'm going to do a little experiment to see how my curls will look when I air dry my hair, just let them dry on their own after probably a couple hours, or versus using a diffuser. Even if you're using the same exact styling products, you might get different looking results based off of how you let your hair dry. So I'm gonna show you the difference between letting my hair dry on its own versus diffusing. Today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith, but even if it wasn't, I'd still be using these styling products because they're amazing. So much so that I didn't know which ones to use in this video, so I took a poll on Instagram, if you guys don't follow me, follow me right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. But I couldn't decide between using the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly, which is their level seven hold gel, or the In Shower Style Fixer Gel, which is the level 10. So right off the bat, if you're looking for extreme hold, go with the In Shower Style Fixer. If you like a good hold, but you don't want it to be like too hard or crunchy, or you don't live in a humid area, then I go with the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. But these two gels give me amazing results every time. But after looking at the poll, it was a very, very close race. The Hydro Style Flexi Jelly won for this video. I also asked you if you wanted me to use a leave-in conditioner and the majority said yes. So I'll be using the Weightless Air Dry Cream Leave-In. So let's get started. So starting off with still damp hair, let's go in with the leave-in conditioner first. This is the Curlsmith Weightless Air Dry Cream. Many of you know I'm usually not a leave-in conditioner girl, but if I have to use one, this is the one that I have been loving. It's not too thick, so it doesn't weigh down my very low porosity hair. My hair is pretty fine, but it still gives me that extra moisture and I've also noticed my hair looks shinier when I pair it with this leave-in. Of course, all the Curlsmith products are sulfate paraben, silicone-free, cruelty-free, and certified organic and vegan. So you're getting some good, high-quality ingredients with these products. So I'm gonna apply the leave-in on both sides, smoothing it in. Really get your ends. The ends of our hair is usually the driest part. I did already part my hair down the middle so I can do an even side-by-side -side test. But now let me apply the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly Styling Gel for curly and wavy hair. There we go. I feel like this gel has slip and gels don't even need slip. <laughs> but it just slides on through. Hear that sound? That's how much moisture and water should be in your hair. Now that my stylers are applied, I'm going to let this side air dry, just let it be, and then I'm gonna start diffusing on this side. Now my normal curly hair routine actually consists of both air drying and diffusing. I let my hair air dry until it has that slight cast on it. Once I have a little bit of a cast, a little bit of that hold or crunchiness, then that tells me that my hair is ready to diffuse without getting frizzy. But for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to try diffusing immediately. I know, something I never do, we're trying new things. So I'm just gonna carefully put this side away so it doesn't get diffused on accident. Oh, that's really cute. This is a whole look in itself. So it is currently 5.23. Let's see how long this takes. <laughs> a lot. So it is now 5.40. So as you can see, if I diffuse, it takes me between 15 and 20 minutes to really get it all dry. So right now the side is completely dry and it looks really good. I always get more of these like ringlets like that when I diffuse. Let me take this part off because this part's really funny. <laughs> Let's see if I can kind of get some more volume even though I put it in a middle part, which is kind of hard. That side looks good. Let's take this side back down. Still very wet. And there we go. Can we talk about shrinkage as well? So here's my hair, still pretty wet versus completely dried and diffused. 
So overall right now my hair feels very soft. It didn't leave any hard cast because using a diffuser will also break any hardness or cast that your gel might have left. But even though the cast is gone, I still have really great definition. So at this point I'm going to just wait and wait and wait until this side completely air dries and then I'll come back to show you the final results. Time check, it is now 7 p.m. and my hair is still very much wet on this side. I should not have started this video at five o'clock. And I'm back, it is now currently 8.40 p.m. So it took about three hours for my hair to air dry and technically it's not even 100% dry. It's like 98.3% dry. But let's compare. So if I just let it dry without doing anything, it is gonna be slightly longer compared to my diffuser side because I'm not diffusing it up, curling it up. It's still super defined because of the product and also super shiny, which I believe is because of Believe In. And it could be the gel as well. But now let's see if I could fluff out this side just a little bit, even though it's not all the way dry. But let's see how much volume I can get without diffusing. I'm not noticing much of a cast with this gel today, but I really believe that's because of the leave-in conditioner. So if you don't want that hard crunch or any type of cast, a leave-in conditioner first is going to make your curls softer to begin with. But if you don't mind the cast, like I usually don't, I would just go straight for the gel without a leave-in. So let's compare side by side. Overall, they both look really pretty because these Curlsmith products are bomb. But which side looks longer? This side that air dried looks a little bit more elongated because I did not have to scrunch it up with the diffuser. But which side has more volume? That would be the diffuser side. Which side dried faster? 20 minutes, three hours. Which side is more defined? Hmm, both sides look really good to me, but that is because I have a very defined curl pattern to begin with. If you have wavy hair or bigger, looser curls and your hair actually looks straight when it's wet, I definitely think using a diffuser would make your curls or waves look more prominent because it's kind of adding that definition when you diffuse up. I've seen plenty of girls on YouTube and Instagram that have a looser curl pattern than I do and their hair thrives from diffusing. So if you have loose curls, big curls or waves, I would definitely recommend using some type of gel and a diffuser to really make your definition pop. So overall, I'm very happy with how my curls turned out. You really can't go wrong when you use really good products. But let me know which side you guys like better. Do you like the diffuse side or the air dry side, or do you not really see a difference? I also like to know what do you do? Do you diffuse all the time? Are you team air dry? How many days does it take for your hair to dry? All these Curlsmith products are available at Ulta Beauty. They range from $26 to $28. These are full size bottle with eight fluid ounces. And if you're looking for a really good gel that doesn't leave too hard of a cast, I would recommend the HydroStyle Flexi Jelly. If you need a moisturizing leave-in conditioner, try the Weightless Air Dry Cream. If you want super duper duper hold, use the In Shower Style Fixer and or use the Flexi Gel without a leave-in first. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.